Welcome back to the brand new California Academy of Sciences and our inside look under the living roof. I'm Dan Ashley. We chose the title for this special program for a very good reason. As you can plainly see, this roof is quite literally alive. I'm standing on an integral part of this new building, and you can too when you visit. From the start, the new California Academy of Sciences building has been a giant science experiment covered with a living roof, a huge expanse of dirt with real plants growing almost as nature intended. The original idea came from groundbreaking architect Renzo Piano. He spent some time walking around Golden Gate Park, getting a sense for the setting here, looking out at the surrounding topography of San Francisco. And he came back downstairs after spending about an hour up on the roof of the old building. And he had this very iconic now line drawing. It was a green felt tip pen sketch of a rolling roof line. That sketch launched plans for what may be the most complicated living roof ever built. Curved steel beams were installed to create a rolling hillside effect like the hills of San Francisco. We had to come up, you know, using um, specific types of models, ways to be able to look at the steel and then throw it through bend, uh, bending machines that get it just the right proportions. The building has two giant domes, each 90 feet in diameter. This is the skeleton inside the new high-tech planetarium dome. And this is the start of the rainforest dome. The contractor hired a roller coaster company to create the curving ramp inside. The roof is made of seven different layers, providing everything from insulation to drainage. It's designed to absorb 98% of the rainwater that hits it. And that's important because normally when rainwater hits a roof, it acts as a conduit, carrying pollutants from that roof and from the street out into the ocean or out into the bay. This way we're capturing the rainwater and the plants are using it, and you're reducing that runoff. Each section was tested to make sure it's waterproof. And while all that was going on, more than 100 miles away, the plants for the living roof were starting life in Carmel Valley. There are nine types of plants, all native to Golden Gate Park, each variety chosen to provide habitat for birds and insects. The roof may last up to 400 years. These are long-lived plants, resistance and resilience. That's what we're building into the structure and building into the natural landscape. The plants were grown in biodegradable trays made of coconut husks. In May of 2007, crews finally began placing the trays on the roof. They'll be watered for a few months. Then the plants are supposed to be self-sustaining and enjoyed for generations. Now that the roof is finished, insects have already discovered the flowers and the plants are growing in as expected. Beyond beauty, there's another benefit. All that soil, there's six inches of soil up on the roof, makes it a great insulator, so we'll use a lot less energy on heating and cooling the building beneath it. Incredibly, throughout the project, construction was always right on schedule. This is how it looked two years ago in September. This is how it looked just two months later. Then six months later. And this is how that same spot looks now.